Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we got the Z back from the shop after the drift day. And as you can see, we're missing the rear bumper. What we're gonna do today is just rattle can the trunk. We're not gonna try to like put too much time into making it look nice. That's kind of the important thing about not having a super nice car, especially if you're learning how to drive like at the track or if you're drifting. Because if you're so focused on keeping it nice, you're gonna be disappointed. We're just going to master off some things. We're going to do the bash bar black and the natural trunk part red. That way from far away, it'll still look like, like it's one part and it's not just totally missing rear bumper. We're just going to do a quick rattle can job. I don't plan on getting a rear bumper yet because I'm still learning how to drift. If I got another rear bumper, I put all this time into like wrapping it and making it look nice. I might just end up ripping it off again. That'd probably not be a good idea. I want to wait till I get a lot better. And then I'll put more money into like making the car look nicer again. It'll be easier for me to keep it that way. We're just going to start by masking off some stuff we don't want to paint. We're going to get these connectors out of the way. So we're just going to do the, the bash bar first because it's easy. Alright, so to start painting, we're going to do just a light coat. I'm just using this... Uh, piece of cardboard here to make sure I don't get it with too much. I'm just really trying to avoid the exhaust because I don't want to paint with the exhaust, but on the body it's cool because we're going to end up painting that red anyways. So we're just doing a light coat first. This will just help the paint stick. So nice when you don't when you don't give a shit. <laughs> We're just doing a quick mash off because it doesn't have to be perfect, but if we can avoid getting paint. Yeah, look how much nicer the dash bar looks already. So that was just real quick. It took us like 10 minutes and before it was all brown and rusted. Like now since it's exposed, we want it to look nicer. It was fine before when the bumper was covering it, but I think this is We just want it to not be so like gray, you know? As long as it's like somewhat red. Ooh, looks better on it. So I just want to make sure I get it like everywhere first. So that way we don't have any spots that are like just green. So I'll try to hit everything and then hopefully there's enough paint left. I'll come on and put a thicker coat so it'll be like all red instead of like that. Hey, look how much nicer that is. Doesn't that look so much nicer? It's like red and black. Maybe I'll do a thicker coat and then I'll hit those little things. couple minutes. It's kind of hot today, so the paint's going to take very long to dry. But I think it's dry enough for us to peel tape off, because as long as we don't touch any of the, the wet parts, it should be cool. But I think it looks, I think it looks better already. At least it looks like all even and not like brown under here, you know? Look at that, that looks way nicer. Say that looks a lot nicer. I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out, and like, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it's good enough. If you look at the whole car from far away, it does the job. That's perfect. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. All right, guys. So that that sums up painting the rear of the Z. So now, 
It looks nice enough for the street. I don't have to be a, a, like as embarrassed not running a rear bumper. And all in all, it cost me like twenty dollars, and now it's good to go. So you guys enjoy the video, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.